The Know Your Numbers campaign is a voluntary health testing program conducted here on site. It was a free screening clinic. We brought in contract health nurses and they conducted biometric screening so employees could identify potential health concerns. Well, on the day when the, the nurses came in, it turned out to be one of the typical days where there was lots of stuff going on, lots of things in the pit. When I did get down to, to go and sit down with the nurse, um, Cheryl was her name, she started to set the machine to, to go and uh, she just kept looking at it and looked at me and she goes, you need to go down to the clinic. Your blood pressure is off the charts. I told her I had a mind to run and of course at that time the radio started going. She turned, grabbed the radio, shut the radio off and said, you need to listen to me. If you don't do something about this, it's going to eventually catch up to you and uh, I ended up going back on the field. Well, one of the questions that I asked him after he told me the nurse was mad at him was, why didn't you do what she said? And he said, well, I have a mind to take care of. I says, well, you're not going to be able to take care of it if you're not there anymore. He loves his job, and that's what he put first that day. Woke up one morning, I was going to go down to my wife's salon and hang some shelves up, and I went into one of the rooms and started hanging up a shelf, and that's when I really started feeling like I just wanted to lay down. The constriction of my chest started coming back again, and I started to sweat really bad, and it just dawned on me that this isn't good. This is, I need to go to the hospital. I'm lucky enough that everything was caught when it was that I'm able to turn this around. I was hesitant about it at first, uh, thinking, well, it's just another, another thing. And uh, once I thought about it, I thought, why not? When she took my blood pressure, she said, I can't let you go to work because you're a walking time bomb, the way your blood pressure is. Well, at the hospital, they, they took my blood pressure five more times. They said, go for these tests and check back with your doctor. It was just on the verge of exploding. And if it had a burst, I would, wouldn't be standing here today. My attitude towards life has totally changed. A lot of things that used to bother me, they don't matter anymore. The important things is my family, my grandkids, and my children, my wife. That, that's, that's what's important now, because a lot of the trivial stuff, it doesn't matter anymore. It's an eye-opener, you know. You, you really realize what you have when it's almost ready to be taken away from you. She's everything. Absolutely everything. He's my world. And that's uh, period. Probably the worst thing I could have ever done to her. And I promised I'd never do that again. Oftentimes we get caught up with what's going on at the mine site and we get so engrossed and involved in our roles and at times we forget to take care of ourselves. It wasn't a matter that I didn't want to go home. Didn't want to let anybody down, I guess. I ended up letting myself down. Going forward, I guess, if I had, had a chance to do the Know Your Numbers again, I, I would do it again. It's an easy way to find out how you're doing if you're somebody that doesn't watch what they're doing. It only does good if you listen to it. <laughs>